Hi guys, um, I thought I'd give a quick uh, update video with regards to the um, Sherman Group build that I'm doing that uh, Shane Smith's running. Um, I just wanted to go through some of the things that I found with the Dragon Kit um, just to let you guys know anybody who might be building it just to give you a few hints and tips about some of the problems that I've uh, come across. Okay, the first thing I want to chat to you about is the, is the turret. Now, as you can see, we've got the lower part that joins to this upper part, yeah? If we, if we come round the back, we've got this piece here. Now, they tell you in the instructions to fit that piece there before fitting this bottom piece. Don't do that. Fit this bottom piece and then fit that piece because if you don't sit this properly what happens is it blocks this bottom piece getting a good join with the top piece so put your top and bottom together first and then put that piece in yeah the other mistake i made was i put sorry it keeps going out of focus um i put uh, all these details on the top turret first and then I added the bottom piece. What I would recommend is that you add the bottom piece first to the top. Get your join all sorted out. Yeah. All sanded and smooth and whatever. And then put these other pieces on because when when I try to sand the join, I had to be careful not to knock these other pieces off that I'd already put on. Okay. So that's what I would recommend for that. If we move on to the hull, this um, this section here between there and there is too long. You have to shave some off in order to get that to fit. Okay. The other thing I've noticed with this Dragon Kit, there's almost like two different types of material. You've got this grey, which is similar to the turret, and then you've got this grey, which is which is like a more of a plastic i'm wondering if this is like a resin type composite it seems very similar to what gw games workshop use um, and forge world use on some of their figures and i'm wondering if if that's like almost like as i say a resin uh, resin plastic type thing the other problem i had the fenders here the track guards they were fitting this bit in into here was a pain and one of the reasons was there was two tabs that they wanted you to fit in here it's not shown on the instructions but there was two tabs there and they were like blocking the upper hull from sitting onto the lower hull so i just cut them off i cut off the two protrusions here and here and it made it work a lot better it also helped with the fact that if you look at this square on what was tending to happen was this piece was butting up against this fender and leaving a bigger gap against this one well now you can see that it's um much more central between the two this piece was a pain this bolt section um there were three um protrusions on the underneath of this uh, and in the end i just decided i couldn't understand why they were there and i just I just cut most of them off and managed to sit the front of the tank underneath that bolt section. This is actually one piece that you have to put on separately. Okay, so that was that as well. The back. Don't try and fit this piece like I did. After you've put this front piece on and this piece on top, what you need to do is build all this back as one piece and then fit it all yeah but even even now you can see that there's a gap so what i'm intending to do is get some super glue and put run it along there and then if you see i can squeeze it and it will and it will close up and that that will work so i'm making progress on the kit and although i'll come up with those issues i am enjoying it and i think that this dragon kit is very nice it's very good i'm really pleased with it um i've got another dragon kit 
um, that I want to use with this. It's not another Sherman. And I, I probably will give it away at some later date, but I'm going to do a little diorama. And I saw this other kit and I thought it would be perfect. Um, as, a, as just a small thing. Um, as you know, I'd also bought these Italeri, um Americans. Um, Bill suggested that I could use some of these figures as the crew, but looking at them, <laughs> none of them, very few of them are looking in the right direction or in a pose that can be used. And even the one that I did try and use, which was this guy here, which the camera's having problems focusing on. Yeah, I can't get him to stand in the, in the tank properly, so I have tried to look for some more American figures that could, I could perhaps use as tank crew. I will still have a go because it would add to the, um, the tank itself, but I am struggling to find a figure to use on that. Anyway, guys, I'm sorry that seemed a bit patchy in places. My trying to describe certain things, I hope that uh, it was reasonably understandable. And uh, obviously, as always, uh, thanks for your support. I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.